Back at the Rose Bowl, one of the reasons Rick Neuheisel is the new head coach at UCLA is because their crosstown rival USC has dominated them since 2001. Pete Carroll has built a tremendous program there, won two national titles, six BCS Bowls since 2001. Very little success for UCLA. They think Rick Neuheisel, the prodigal son, is the answer. Pass complete on the little rollout, and that's complete to Ryan Moya, the backup tight end. Of course, the hire doesn't come without New Heisel's over-the-top personality, right. uh, a kind of guy who can charm birds out of trees. And here's one of the ads they took out. Presumably, he's pointing across town to USC <laughs> and saying the monopoly is over. Well, as one of our friends says, not so fast. Yeah, that's right. And it's going to take a little while to overturn that monopoly. UCLA just trying to keep the sticks moving a couple of times. They go on the toss to Carter, and he stopped just shy of the 30. You know, just to finish up on that point, I mean, again, that goes back to my point of why I think Rick Neuheisel is the right guy at the right time, because Pete Carroll has raised the bar. Oh, yeah. And, and Pete Carroll is charming and charismatic and a great recruiter, and Neuheisel can match that. Should be enough for a first down, Carter lowering the shoulder and driving and that's exactly what the Bruins need move the sticks get a good drive and come down and try to get that touchdown to put them ahead uh, even if they don't score what they need to do here is flip the field position if they can to help their defense but that's Rick Neuheisel I mean he's a winner I mean he won at Colorado he was 33 when he took that head coaching job and he won at Washington and again both programs faced sanctions after he left and I, I hope and think that he's grown up a lot from that very dangerous pass back across the green caught by Embridge Taylor Embry making the catch got a block from Terrence Austin if he doesn't get that block yeah. that ball might have been picked too and Kevin Kraft didn't get much on that ball because he was throwing it backpedaling watch Kevin Kraft just trying to buy some time eluding the rush of Walter Fisher number 95 and Embry able to come back and make the catch heads up play by Austin First down from UCLA, own 41-yard line. Kraft, short set, short throw, another completion. And this is what Kraft yeah. was doing at the beginning of the game, throwing in rhythm. And the defensive secondary is playing so far off yeah. right now, I don't understand. Well, what they're doing with the double receivers is one receiver is running the coverage off. Watch Terrence Austin. He's going to run the coverage off and occupy both guys. And then the underneath throw comes to Embry. But, I mean, it's, it's the inside receiver who's running off the coverage and opening it up outside. UCLA on the move down to the 45-yard line. Kraft. And this one's incomplete, yeah. and that's going to be interference or yeah. holding one or the other on D'Angelo Willingham, who saw he was beaten and just grabbed a big handful of blue jersey. Rick Neuheisel told us, he said, if we can fight these guys, and if we can get it into the fourth quarter, we feel like we have a plan where we can win the game, I mean, that we can hang in there and come up with enough plays. Holding on the defense. That's a 10-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic first down. Prior to this drive, UCLA's last six offensive plays netted nine, minus 17 yards. Now they've got some momentum. they got something going. But even if they don't score in this drive, they've achieved one thing. That's flip the field, help their defense, if Tennessee gets the ball back, they have to play for their own territory against UCLA's defense. Absolutely. Tennessee, as you see, penalized nine times for 55 yards tonight. UCLA starting to scare some of the Tennessee faithful who have made this trip because Kraft has been right on the money here in the fourth quarter. And, and you got to really, I mean, you got to applaud this young guy. I mean, he threw four interceptions in the first half. The last one returned for a touchdown to put his team down 14 to 7. And look at him in the second half. 10 of 13, 93 yards, and he's taking care of the football. 
He's not forcing stuff downfield. He is taking the short things that are available to him. And now UCLA is going to use a timeout. Remember, with those new clock rolls, clock rules, timeouts are more important than ever. ESPN's College Football Primetime is presented by Jack Link's Beef Jerky. Feed your wild side. And in part by the GM employee discount for everyone. UCLA trailing, but on the move, Todd, they've got a second and four right yeah. here. You know, they've thrown a lot of slants. They got them set up for maybe a slant and go if they want to take a shot at one. Yeah. Here's the draw, oh, nice and that's going to lose side. about four yards, and the tackle from behind, Adam Myers White, the strong side linebacker, came and got the tackle in the backfield. Well, he was out like he was in pass coverage. He's out here, and Kevin Crabb didn't account for him, and he just times it and chases the, down, the play down from behind. He sees it all the way, and the tailback Carter really has no chance. It wasn't really a zone read where you read that guy. It was a designed give. But Myers White timed it perfectly. So now Kraft goes to the shotgun on third and long. Blitz comes. Kraft throws over the middle. Big throw and catch. First down at the 22. A strike to Taylor Embry, and he hung on, took a pounding. Yep. We've seen a couple throws tonight by Kevin Kraft where he didn't really step into it and zip it in there, and he paid for it. That time, he stepped right into this throw and zipped it between defenders to Embry for the big third down conversion. Getting rid of the ball quickly, that offensive line giving him enough time to make a play. And Kraft comes up limping. He's five out of five for 51 yards on this drive. Kraft again, pressure from behind, got rid of it down to the three. Another terrific pass, and the backup tight end, Ryan Moya, is coming up big in place of Logan Paulson. Those are the plays the receivers were not making for Kraft in the first half. No, tight end's going to go right down the seam. Watch the pressure here. Kevin Kraft doesn't see him, but maybe feels him or hears him breathing or something because he gets rid of it just in time. Otherwise, that's probably a turnover in the UCLA backfield. Didn't even get to see the completion. It's a first and goal. Carter, the tailback on the toss. Room to room. Run. Therio, the fullback, one of the guys who was leading him around the corner and gave Carter just enough room to get in. What a comeback by UCLA. And Nick Ekbatani, the right tackle, also with a big-time block on the edge. What a drive by the Bruins. Watch 75, Ekbatani and the fullback, Therio, both out there in front. The ball gets across the pylon and a touchdown for the Bruins. All at once, Kraft has thrown the ball on rhythm, rhythm thrown it with zip, yeah. and his receivers have been making big-time catches. You know what? And, and, and being a former coach's kid and a former quarterback, I got to say I'm proud of this guy for coming back in the second half and playing with this kind of confidence and this kind of resolve. Gotta I mean, a, a lesser person or, a, you know, a, a guy who doesn't have that kind of belief, you throw four interceptions in a first half, it's hard to even come out of the locker room. And how about Moya, the tight end? He sat out last year. In 06, he caused 12 passes before he had a broken leg. Now they're reviewing yeah. whether he broke the plane and got in for a touchdown. See if he gets that ball over the pylon in the corner. His left hand hit the pylon. The ball was in his right hand. He okay. went airborne. The call is a touchdown on yeah. the field, so it would have to be overturned to prevent the score. They caught Tennessee a little bit with a quick count. They had him a little bit outflanked on that side and got to the corner of the end zone. After review, the ruling on the field stands.
How about that? Well, you could have asked a neutral observer in this stadium when this drive started. Do you yeah. think they're going to go down <laughs> like they've just right. been shredding them the yeah. whole game? I don't think so. And it was Kevin Kraft. I mean, yes, moving in the pocket, accurate throwing the football. The huge throw on third down to Embry for the first down was uh, the critical play in that drive. Four back. The point after, and UCLA on top by a field goal. Norm Chow calling the plays. You bet I'm happy, and Rick Neuheisel said we have a plan if we get to the fourth quarter.